Tonight, see what truly exists inside the world of the paranormal. Inside. inside. Join the discussion and review some of the best paranormal evidence captures from a wide variety of experienced and up-and-coming investigators. See and hear what they capture, where they captured it, and how they captured it. Right, right now, now, on Entity Voices, Paranormal Evidence, evidence. Live. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to per Entity Voices Paranormal <laughs> Evidence. Or Paranormal Entity right. Voices yeah. Evidence, whatever you want to Depends go. Depends on if dyslexia <laughs> kicks in at the right time or not. I'm Chris Alden. I'm Audra Keeler. <laughs> I am Cherie Rathman. No, it is Gonzalez. I'm Ron Yacovetti, and I'm excited to be here, too. <laughs> we want to start off the show by saying Tony's not feeling well, so he's not going to be with us tonight. So we're paying homage to him. That's right. He is behind us. Not the nasty stuff. Though, you know. Just behind yeah. this green screen, probably. <laughs> Feel better, Tony. We love you, Tony. So yeah. tonight's guest is uh, Taryn Kerper. She's an independent investigator, a talk show and podcast host, and an expert in Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. So let's bring her in and say hello. Welcome. Hi, Taryn. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you doing this is, this is like, this is so fun. I love all of these people. Usually it's just me and my one guest, but this is like, this is great. <laughs> Hollywood Squares. Yeah. So, Taryn, we usually start at the show by asking all of our guests in a brief summary, what got you interested in the paranormal? Ironically, my first experience uh, before I went through training and got into it before this, I was like, I was afraid of it. Didn't want nothing to do with it. But my first experience was in Gettysburg, um, you know, in 2007. And uh, prior to that, I thought, I, I like I said, I was afraid of it. I wanted nothing to do with it. I was no, not about it at all. And when I had that experience, I was like, you know what? This isn't that bad. I, I'm kind of curious, you know, now I'm curious. So I went into it more on a, you know, um, educational part. Like I wanted to learn about it. I wanted to know how, why, what, when, where things worked, you know, for me to understand something, I have to really understand how it works. <laughs> so that's what I did. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah. In uh, talk show and podcast, why don't you talk a little bit about that? Let the, let everybody, our audience know. So I, I do a, a show every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time called Paranormal Brew. Um, it did. St I did used to do this with uh, two other people, um, but they kind of backed out. So, and I, I just loved doing it so much that I just continued. You know, I made sure with them it was okay. They didn't care, you know, and, uh, you know, they're, they're happy. They're, they give me, you know, they're, we're still all friends and everything like that, but they just, they just weren't into it like I am, so. But anyways, I've had I had I had Lourdes and Ron on um, last week. I had Jason Halls on. Nice. Uh, nice. This week yeah. coming up, I have Shane Pittman coming on, and uh, I'm booked through uh, January. So, um, you know, hopefully it's going to be a good next year. So, you know, and I get a lot of people on. Uh, my point of that is just uh, you know having people on like Jason Halls and stuff like that who I respect in the paranormal field, and I know. Oh yeah. People. I looked up to. You know, and as kind of like a mentor, um, and for him to come on and you know, basically talk re like real, like you know, not everything what you see on TV is not everything's a demon, not everything's evil, you know, and just kind of like be real about everything. That's my goal, just to get that out there because most people that the, all they know is what they see on TV and they think everything's negative and demonic and we're and gives us like a gimmicky type, right persona to people that aren't involved in this. So I'm glad that's why I do it to see. And he's a really, he's a really nice guy too. We got to talk to him at the, the New Jersey para unity expo at, at the VIP party. Um, yeah. Because of the day of the expo, we thought we'd get to talk to him again, but 
the line to see him was like they opened up a DMV <laughs> at Disneyland. It was just. <laughs> oh, yeah. It yeah, was yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. But he's really a nice person. Person. Down to earth. He was really down, down to earth. They no airs of I'm a TV personality or, or anything at all. Um, of course, he's knowledgeable. He's been doing this for a while. But hopefully, people learn more than just ghost hunting techniques from him. They also learn interpersonal skills with how to interact with the community, right. regardless of people's level of experience. Because I think he's really good at that, and that, that's a, that's a lesson that shouldn't go um, unnoticed. Right. And that was one of the things me and him talked about because I said, when you guys do your show, I mean, granted it's TV. So yeah, but the way they handle clients and private houses and this and that, you know, they do it. I mean, if they don't find something that's normal, if they do find something, you know, they, they do whatever they can to try to see what's causing it, whatever they're showing people how you really should investigate. Right. And that's one thing I was going to point out. The, the reason I like Jason Haas so much is, and I got into him a long time ago, watching ghost hunters is they go in there and if they can't eliminate something environmental, if they can't eliminate something in the structure of the building, they can not eliminate a breeze coming through a window. They're not going to call it paranormal. Right. They have to eliminate it's everything. Right. And Ron and, and Shuri and Lourdes and Audra have heard me say situational awareness. You have to know the history. You have to know where you're at. You have to know what's going on. You have to know the, the weather conditions. You have to know everything going on before you can call it paranormal. And that's the one thing I like about Jason Haas and his group is he, they won't present it as paranormal if they can't, Right. Right. Yeah. Reviewing yeah. is the most important thing too before you call it a uh, paranormal. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Well, Taryn awesome. has a lot of evidence, <laughs> and I don't want to. I don't want to have to go. We don't have time for any of this, so I'm going to jump right into it. Unless somebody's got an, an objection. Nope. 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 I am going no to. Start. Objection. <laughs> no objection. No objections. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna start with an EVP that you sent us. Are okay. you trying to? Do you want to give us a little? What which one? Intro? Which one is it? Are you trying to sleep? Oh yeah. Um, really quick, I just want to say because I always do. Uh, a Jing, I just saw she's watching on YouTube. Um, she's from Indonesia. Oh wow! She's oh, hi, shout out and saying hi. So I don't know if you. Yes, there she is. It's literally probably three to maybe two or three a.m. there right now. Wow! Oh my wow. goodness! So um, that's, that's one of my that's one of my paranormal brew followers. I love her, and she's a. I, I've never met her, but hope to meet her one day. So that's awesome. That's fantastic. Okay, yeah, so, a lot right, all right there. Yeah. The, so thanks so for bringing her to the show. That's awesome. So do you want to play the EVP, or do you want me to talk about it first and then you play it? It's up to you. Do you want to give an intro first, or do you want to talk about it after everybody hears it? So I'll say it first. So we, uh, it was uh, it was at the inn at Lincoln Square in Gettysburg, and um, the inn was actually empty. Me and my boyfriend at the time were the only two that were there, so nobody else was in the inn. And the inn, uh, it's an old. It's you know pre eighteen sixty three, so it's an old inn. You could hear everything. So you know what it sounds like when somebody's walking through or talking and you know what I mean? You just know that sound. Um, so we were going to, she allowed us to, we got permission to do an investigation since we got the whole, in, nobody else was staying there that night. So she goes, go ahead, investigate the whole inn if you want. I'm like, oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> so around nine o'clock, we, me and him, we, we start putting the lights out, all the recorders. I used to put up like seven recorders. And I would put them all up, but we're walking around turning the lights off. And at the time, I didn't hear it. But um, when I was going over my recorders, one of them picked up. One of them picked up. <laughs> Only one. Yeah. <laughs> picked up. Um, uh, it sounded literally like another woman was standing in the room with us. Oh. Um, as we're shutting the lights off, I heard something. And I said, what was that? Uh, he said, what was what? And then you hear, are you trying to sleep? And I say, is the TV on? Now, her sleep kind of, I kind of overlap that for like a split second as I start talking. So, you know, it's not me. Hmm. And I, I, that's probably one of probably the best EVPs because it's so loud. So clear, like it was like there was another person in the room. So this is not enhanced at all. This is a classic. Not at all. I don't know how to do that. Ronald, <laughs> I'm so technologically like dumb. Like I can't. I wouldn't even know how to fix that. <laughs> all these 
quality speaks for itself. That's 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 good. That's yeah. class A. It's a genuine class A. If it's yeah. at that level, and you didn't have to blow it out. Mm-mm. All right, let's take a listen. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the cable box is still on. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was loud. Yeah. yeah. So, so he said, so he's so so I says the TV off. And he said, yeah, but the cable box, he said the cable box was on. So the TV itself was off, but just the cable box was on. That was it. You know, and it almost sounds like she has an accent, like the end of it, like the mm-hmm. sleep kind of goes, it, it kind of sounds different, you know, so I, I, I can't make it out. Um, and this was pre me knowing, like, I was still like amateur, like I had no idea what I was doing, you know, I was using like ghost apps and crap, you know, and this and that. So um, I knew nothing about the history of the place. I just loved it. You know, so it's somewhere that, I mean, I still, to this day, every year I go there, I stay there for New Year's. I stay there probably three or four times a year. I'll stay there. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, Look, I love that. Let's play that one more time for the audience. Yeah, I would hear that again, if you don't mind. I would, um, yes. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell just happened here? <laughs> oh, I'm clicking on my other screen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> What's that? Is the TV off? Yeah, the cable box is still on. She sounds British. Yeah. And it's, it's, British. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah, there's an accent over there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah that's so loud. It's a, it's a non sequitur thought, too, from what you just finished saying to what it says. It's not like it's a continuation of. Hey, are you here or right. are you not here? It's like it was two different things entirely. And the vocal picked up right at the end of yours. And the fact that we're turning the lights off. You know what I mean? And we're so to to whoever was there was like, oh, they're turning lights off. They're trying to sleep. So to me, it was very it was in, intelligent. Now, right. right. Yep. Skip ahead to where I'm at now. I, I've learned that I hear a lot of disembodied voices. So I'm clear, I think I'm a little clear audience. The fact that I didn't hear that. You know, as how loud it was, and literally, it almost sounded like it echoed a little bit with, you know, with our area. You know, where it's kind of like my voice was echoing a little bit. You know, so it, I mean, it was. Just, it's just, I wish I would have heard it in real life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. How about Beth? Give us a description of Beth. Uh, at Sion Cemetery in uh, the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. Uh-huh. Um, um, one of my most favorite cemeteries to go to now, there's not many cemeteries that are quote unquote haunted, whatever you want to call it, but this happens to be one of them. This one and, and Batstow Cemetery. Um, so this was like maybe two, like I told you, I had my first experience in 2007. This was probably like three or four months after that. Keep in mind. So I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. You know, I'm in a cemetery and it was me and my sister and her boyfriend. And <laughs> I, I said, OK, back then I thought, you know, just say your your name. So when I listen back, I know what you sound like. Right. In case I hear something or whatever. So I say now for our second EVP, I say it's Taryn. She says Kim. He says Eric. And then you hear Beth in unison. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Now for our second EVP, it's Taryn, Kim, Eric. Wow. Now that that was was really clear. You can't get most human beings to follow suit like that without (laughs) me. Yeah. Now for our second EVP, it's Taryn, Kim, Eric. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. That is a good She's one. Right it's up in there. Great. Yeah, I don't think the, I don't think the Beatles ever did that that well. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it was uh, at Sion Cemetery in uh, the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. 
which is famous for what? You know. Oh, the Jersey Devil. That's right. <laughs> the Lee family and the Jersey Devil. Well, yes. now we all know the Jersey Devil's name is Beth. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It always wasn't a boy. I always knew it was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be a woman. Yeah. <laughs> no, nothing, nor, nothing more demonic than paying three dollars and sixty-five cents in tolls to get there either. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, travel through West Virginia. It's twelve bucks. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the next one we got for you, Taryn, is hi. Hi. <laughs> so this is actually um, at a place um, where. I actually used to host the show from, uh, it, it's a, it's a store in, in Medford, New Jersey. Medford has a very historic part of it. Mm -hmm. Um, again, another old Victorian late 1800s house. And we had an event there one night for them and raised money, you know, for the place. And, uh, I probably that night got 43, EVPs that night and, and interactions like mm -hmm. on recorder or, I mean, it was crazy. You would think having an event, you know, they tend to kind of not come out, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it was, it was very, I have a, I think I've, I sent you a couple of them from that night because it was crazy. There was just so much. So um, this was just, I had my recorder sitting somewhere. And again, I had, I put up more recorders for more than one reason, because I, first I want to make sure like, like, with that, are you trying to sleep? Only picked up on the one recorder. So to me, right. that meant, that means so much more to me than, you know. Um, yeah. So this this got picked up on two, and uh, it's just basically someone saying hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Were the two recorders were the two recorders in close proximity at all to each other or no? Yeah, the way the rooms were set up. So I had this recorder was like on a fireplace, and um, the other recorder was probably. You know, back then where they had those big open rooms, but they had like yeah. the, the archway. So right through the archway, I had the other one facing, you know what I mean? So they were, I don't know, five to 10 feet away from each other, maybe. So does one sound louder than the other? Or do they sound about the same question. volume? Uh, no, this That's was the last one. Okay. This okay. was the latter one. That's why I, I should have included the other one. I didn't even think about that. But this no, was no, I, I was just wondering. Was there right. was there a recorder closer to the loudest one that didn't get it? There was one. It, I don't know if it would have picked it up. It was in the next room, but there was more mm. wall uh, mm. in between the two than there was with the other one. Right. It's still so, fascinating because ambient sound would have at least in some trace level been captured on right. on all of them. If it, if it was on two of them, I'm just trying to see just if they were if they were close to each other at all. Um, it still could be imprint, like we think may be the case of how it gets on there. Yeah. Because you didn't get it on all of them for sure. Right? Yeah. And let me ask another question too. The group that night, you said it was a big night. Would you say that that the collective energy that was like a good group of people? Like. Oh yeah, the the energy in the place. First of all, the energy in that place was always so welcoming, and like mm -hmm. you just felt like you were you were at grandma's. You know what I mean? Like you just walked yeah. in just felt very welcome there. Uh, and I think it was a, it's, it was one of those places that had a lot of different types of practitioners out of. So there were um, mediums in there that rented space. There were Reiki people. There were, mm -hmm. so it was a holistic type of environment anyway. So there's constantly like good, you know, good, you, positive you stuff. Right. You, know? you, had this, you had the spirit energy of, of the location to begin with. And then you add all the other energy from the mediums and the Reiki stuff. And then, I mean, we pointed out historical fact has a lot to do with hauntings too. Maybe you're saying that this is a welcoming place. It felt kind of, kind of family oriented. Maybe it was a place that in the past there was a lot of get togethers mm -hmm. and well, having yeah, that yeah. there raised the energy a little bit. Yeah. I mean, at one point it was a, um, a doctor's place where he delivered a lot of babies uh, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, I mean, over the years, it's been so many different things. Um, but you know, whatever they do there, um, as far as when they meditate or they, you know, do whatever they do to set their spaces and, you know, pray or whatever, it really brings, I mean, they want to talk. They know that nobody's there to do anything bad when they come in there. Right. You know, That's phenomenal. Is what I think. Yeah. And I brought that up too, just in reference to, because you said it was sometimes with a larger group, they may hide, so to speak, or not come out. 
But if you have a really positive co-resonance, if the, if the collective consciousness of everybody there, the whole morphogenic field is is positive, it's a good group of people with good enthusiasm, good intent, then that that in and of itself, even devoid of all the other history, which doesn't do anything but help, but right. just that alone could be what produces a really good night like right. that. Yep. All right, let's listen to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's very drawn out. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's play that again. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that is drawn out. That's a little creepy. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. No, when I listened to it the first time, I was like, eee. okay. <laughs> but I mean, the, I mean, their energies, I believe their energies are all different levels. You know what I mean? Some right. of them can be a little bit more, or some are a little stronger. You know, yeah, and, you know, like they kind of had that some are stronger or not, you know, so why not? Why the, kind of had the creepy guy at the end of the bar at closing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Kind of did, Chris. <laughs> right, so, so let's go into some pictures and i'm they're just numbered so i'm going to go ahead and pop it up oh, okay. and then you can go from there with the description let's take a look at this one all right so um this is not my photo was i was given permission to share it um wow. i was actually working at penhurst paracon i was working the event and um, i took a group down and i always this is the rockwell tunnel my favorite tunnel mm. there hands down uh, so I would take them down, but I would make sure everybody went in the same direction and make sure I waited till the last one. Um, just make sure I had everybody with me. It was probably a group of 25 people. And, you know, they all started to go and there was one girl kind of, you know, staggling back behind and she stopped and she said, what's that way? And I said, well, that's the, so we're looking at the end of the hallway when you come down and you, if you were to look to your left, that's that glowy silver thing is a wall. So okay. kind of like stopped short right there. Uh, the other end, however, keeps going and going and going. And you go around about two or three bends until you get to the end of the tunnel. Hmm. So everybody was going that way. And we were about to start walking and we heard something down, you know, towards this at the other end of the hall. So we stopped and, and I said, take a picture. Um, so she took a couple pictures, jump ahead. We go out and she stops me and she said, look. And I said, holy shit. I said, and, uh, sorry, I don't know if I curse. I apologize if, if you can. Oh, we do it all the time. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. Because what we heard sounded like a heel, like heels. I was going to say, it looks female for sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She yeah. gives me this. And for me, I mean, I believe that lo that looks like a, fe like a female something. Yeah. And then yeah. um, there was, throughout the day, other groups going in there saying they were hearing he high heels. Uh, one woman picked up on a woman like there was like all these reports then thereafter of a woman in the Rockwell tunnel from different groups, you know, throughout the day. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, yeah. Chris, tunnel, no source of light, shadow casting or not casting. Go. There is no shadow casting. Yeah. And if you look close down, there, there's there's no feet touching the floor. And the, the most so the one thing that I, I focused on. Taryn, when you said it, is that that wall back there is a shiny wall. You don't see any shadow being casted on that shiny wall at all. Was there a flash used when you take this picture? When yeah. she took the picture? There was. Mm -hmm. So there should have been a shadow cast onto that wall. There should be a shadow down at the floor. There's nothing there. This yeah. is a straight up apparition of a female, you can tell. Yeah, I mean, it, and, and and the reason why I shared is because I, I actually, she, she she messaged it to me. Because it, it was like me and her shared that moment together, right? So oh I know for a fact there was nobody at the end of that tunnel. Because like nobody was down there, you know, on that end of it. So, and... Oh Someone my. needs to tell her to wear comfortable shoes if she's going to be walking the tunnels. Well, there was, somebody else that, there was a couple people that, that said that when they went down there, they picked up on the, a nurse, like a nurse that at the... Remember, Lyle, they used to wear wow. their heeled yeah. hair? Yeah, yeah. You know, look at Aaron Bush right at the right moment. Nurse vibe. Yep. Right. Oh, I didn't even see that. I don't even yeah. see that. Oh, there. I'm getting a nurse vibe. Yeah. That's what so, there was a couple people that picked up on a nurse out back, you know, and which is quite possible. 
Yeah, Chris, situational yeah. awareness wise, that completely coincides with the history. We were there for the first time yeah. a couple months back, and it is it is a massive location. You don't even get to go through every building of it. It's so big. It's so big, and the parts you get to go through are still so big. Um, mm -hmm. That's that's an amazing catch because yeah. if you play devil's advocate and you go, well, you know, I mean, I, what what do you begin with as an as an alternate explanation other than an anomaly? Well, there is no alternate explanation of that because you're, you're you got a shiny, you got a shiny wall in the back where there's no shadow being cast by the flash, and because of the flash, it's not going to cause a shadow being casted from the end of of the tunnel. So somebody can't say that's a shadow being casted down to the end of the tunnel because there's nobody in front of the flash. If there was somebody in front of the flash, they'd be caught in a picture. Right. Right. Everybody, everybody the floor floor floor. Doesn't have the elongated stretched out like a shadow being cast on a surface wouldn't be right. upright like that like like a, a silhouetted mannequin. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> well, and the and the fact that I mean, there's there's nothing touching the floor, so you're here in heels, and if you look down at the bottom, it dissipates. So there's, yeah, no, there's no solid form at the floor. It kind of looks there's, like a Monet painting. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 There's no refraction. There's no reflection. No, there's, there's, there's no there's no effect on the light whatsoever, other than the fact that that is a darker than dark silhouette of a, yeah. of a human shape. Well, and yeah. you want to point out some more details. You can't tell me that a woman even in, wouldn't have been wearing shiny buttons or if she's carrying a bag, something shiny on the bag that would have reflected the flash. Her eyes would have reflected the flash. None of that's happening in this photo. Well, yeah, and, 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 too, most people, and most people had like cameras and it's not because there were you know power celebs there you know what i mean there were people there that you know i think um i can't remember who was there all the time oh jason and 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 tango and steve not jason so i'm sorry steve and tang you know ghost hunters was there you know doing surprise you know doing hunts with people and everything so everybody was like you know ready to take pics or had you know all kinds of stuff on them so yeah, that's it was an awesome. It was an awesome event for real. It's a great catch. Yeah, that's, really, yeah, that yeah, that's a, a fantastic. Catch. If that's all you walk away from an entire night with is just that. That's for people watching. That's phenomenal. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. holy grail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's everybody goes into a location wanting to catch that, and then we walk away with EVPs. We walk away with disembodied voices. We walk away with screams, whistles, knocks, door slamming. Sometimes we catch that on audio. I mean, we nine times out of ten we'll catch some audio, even if it's just a couple clips. No matter how long yeah. we're in a location, but it's rare that you walk away with evidence like this. Well, yeah. so yeah. you know what's awesome about that too is, you know, I, I was I was working that event right and non-paid. You know, it was all you know volunteer. We volunteered our time and everything. And then, um, uh, what's awesome about that is that the person that took that photo was somebody that paid to come to the event. They paid a couple hundred dollars to be there all weekend, mm -hmm. you know? And the fact that they actually went away with something like that. Right. right? Yeah, I mean, a... you're just like, that's so awesome. It was in my group. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, <laughs> something that, it was, which is why I shared it because it's, I mean, I think it's awesome for her <laughs> to get that. Right. Okay, yeah, so okay. That's really, really good. Yeah. Again, now this one, I, I, I only included this one because I just honestly want your opinions, first of all, because I'm not quite sure. Again, this is tunnel, yeah. Rockwell. Exactly. And this looks like, and again, this was a, a another group that was taken down on the Rockwell tunnel. One of the paying customers had, you know, walked out and saw this. Um, a lot of people think that it looks like a little boy leaning over. You see his arm hand and his, and his legs. You see, like, it's like, like he's almost leaning on the wall, but kind of, you know, coming out. Right here in this area here? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I've I always been on the fence with this one. I, I like it because I see what people are seeing. Yeah. I can't explain it. I, I, I can't explain it. But you can't explain it, but at the same time, it's hard to explain with the well, condition. It's a blurry right. photo, first of all. Right. Time. Right. Um. But but that looks very clear. Everything else looks so blurry, and that kind of has like a definite straight like shape. That's true. That is true. Yeah, the lines of it, the outline of it is right. pretty is pretty definitive. Even though it has it has almost like a, a pixelated consistency to it. Right. Mm-hmm. That but, was a whole. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. 
that is again not my photo. Uh, this was in one of my groups, and they sent it to me, and you know what I mean to to share. So, well, it's also you have to get a little bit of a perspective too. That so that white line on the wall, Taryn, about how tall do you think that white line is? All right, I'm five three. That wall would come would come up to my shoulders. Which would put the which would put the figure if it was a child at about thirty six inches tall. So yeah, feasibly it could be. Could be. Right, and then anything anything that's anomalous, it also appears in a photograph. A lot of times, just through the manifestation alone, there there can be disfiguration with exaggeration in, in the size of either limbs or 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 characteristics like like on visual ITC stuff. You'll see earlobes that are exaggerated compared to the actual person when they were alive. Um, right. So it it you're looking at the anatomy, you're looking at the the outline of what looks to be like you know a hunched over with maybe a pair of legs. Um, Got a head right here. It's yeah. it's it's. It possible. looks like it's reaching down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, get something, pick up something. It yeah, like Ron's saying, it's possible that they caught something. The problem is is the, the distortion in the rest of yeah. the picture, yeah. and and the breeze coming through that the flash caught with the streaking kind of unfortunately takes away from it if it is real evidence that's the problem right right absolutely but this is this is something for you talk about entire mentioned in the beginning about the, the learning process right the educational process that we go through that and by the way never ends um mm -hmm. this is thought provoking because this is not in any direction a slam dunk you don't go oh yeah look at that and you don't go nah look at that you're, you're looking at it going you know you're, we're picking up characteristics and aspects of what we're looking at but we can't say with any certainty one way or the other. Um, right. It's possible. It's a it's a possibility. Right. It is. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go to this one. Oh this crap! Is <laughs> oh, it's a video. Oh yeah. Okay. So and it's a very quick one too. By the way, again, another one that is to date. I can't explain it. I don't know what it is. It mm -hmm. looks almost like a gargoyle. Now, if you, okay, now you see where she's got the, I don't know if that was like a K2 meter. The red yeah, pod. The K2. Red and somebody, a K2 well, yeah, so somebody took a picture and as the flash is going off, it almost looks like right above her and jump it down. Like, now, if you see on the ground, see like how it looks like it's a, the, the ground is a little darker shade going all the way up. Right here. Yeah. Like right here. I think, I think that's like they either had a light on or some, somebody flashes a picture and it's so quick, but it looks like a gargoyle is jumping down off the side of the, you see the shadow, right? Now the walls go straight up. There's nowhere for anything to be just hanging on. It could be a bug. It could be, but you just have to see it. it to me, look, it looks, the best way I can explain it is it looks like a gargoyle, <laughs> like a shadow of a gargoyle. Yeah. Watch fast, y'all. It's only about two very seconds. Very quick in the beginning. Yeah, it's very quick. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. Oh yeah! Now, when you slow it down, I slowed it down. I I watched this thing so many times. You have no idea. I've slowed it down to see. It looks like it precedes the flash, too. By the way, it does, which it takes that off of the table, in my opinion. It looks like an animal, but where's it? To me, where is where's it? it yeah. Like, yeah, right. it, it it does, but what's it walking on? Huh. Flash comes in right about there. Boom! Right there, right, and it's already gone. It's yeah. already gone. Yeah. So the flash is not causing the anomaly. It appeared in the ambient light. Whatever you had going on before the flash went off is where you see it. So let me see. If I can't make it bigger. Yeah, yeah, I can. Hang on. There we go. Now let me move that back and forth. It's good that you can scrub the timeline like that, so you can actually see it. Yeah. It emerge. And it emerges out of that shadow that's that yeah, trailing right. the wall. And it looks like it like jumps off. Like it looks like it jumps. Look at it. Look at it. It looks kind of like a gorilla <laughs> to me. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> right there. It looks like a gorilla. Hey, it has like it has four legs. You can, yeah, see, you yeah. can see it. And with the ears. So here's the most interesting even if you could say, even if you could attribute it to the flash, it's moving in the wrong direction. Correct. Right, right. It's moving towards the flash. If it was as a shadow caused by the flash, it would be going the other direction. Okay. Yeah, but it is it is preceding the flash. 
Like it's it's all it's gone. Now wow. it's gone, and now the flash comes in, and then the flash hits, and then it's so quick too that, and then the second flash hits, and it's gone. Yeah, there's no there were no dogs there. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Yeah, yeah, but it seems like it's walking towards to that wall right there. It's like it's jumping. It doesn't look like it's jumping down. Like to me, and maybe that's just me. That's not the same thing. Because then and the hallway's not pitch black, right? Oh, very good. Audrey makes a very good point. When the flash goes off, see the shadow down there by the feet? See, yeah. Mm. It's a different consistency and a different darkness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that shadow is casted from the flash and of the person somebody, somebody behind the person right. holding the K2. But it's different than what was on the wall. But here's yeah. something even more interesting. Watch the beginning. And the person with the K2 yeah. doesn't move. No. It doesn't yeah. And what? the shadow what? is so light. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, well, that's what I was saying compared to the other one. It's a completely different watch. And, yeah. I'll, and I'll do this really slowly. It looks like it's crouching there. Right. And then it's and then up so if you look straight across from the REM pod, there's a little, the shadow from the floor over there is coming out a little bit. It yeah. actually looks like it comes out of a crouch and starts moving. Watch. See it come up? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it moves towards the person with the K2. And yet it doesn't ever go off. But the K2 never goes off. It does. Yeah, no. Red yeah. Pump, so. Look at that. Yeah. Look how quick they want to be in the picture. Like, oh, the picture, let me get out. Play, play it in real time, though. Then what, now that you yeah. see that. And then yeah, watch I was just going to say for everybody watching that you're sitting there going, wow, that's not really moving all that fast. This is a two second video that I'm slowly scrolling mm -hmm. through. It's why well, you're scrubbing what I'm on. It uh -huh. looks like it jumps. Yeah, like it yeah, like yeah. A, it looks motion. Yeah. You know? yeah, it jumps. Oh, Here we can play it again. Yeah. That's a good one. It, it does look like it jumps. It, it jumps and leaps. It yeah. runs and jumps. It leaps. Yeah. Yeah. It, it had the gait of a four-legged animal. Yeah. yeah. It did. It yeah. It and, it, and you're absolutely right, Ron. That thing started before the flash hit. And yeah, it's moving right. in the opposite direction of the flash. And if there were now, and the hallway is not pitch black, right? So if there was an animal, even on the let's say with Spider-Man powers, on the wall, <laughs> the ceiling, yeah. right? The person with the K two didn't move, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah. Catch up. That's so that's cool. pretty crazy. For everybody watching, if you look down in this little corner right here, that is a two second video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's important. That's, point. that's, a, that's an awesome catch. <laughs> so yeah. Wow. So I tell you what, this also puts credibility to the person that reviewed it too, is somebody caught that in a two second clip. Right. So sitting there for hours reviewing evidence, somebody's got to have a good eye that's going to grab that out of that video. That's pretty good. We know I concur, sir. Are. I concur. <laughs> I concur. <laughs> All right. So let's go. And so I don't even know what concur is, but I do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Taryn, we got a picture. Yes. Of a picture. Yeah. Okay. So if you go up, go out of this one and then there's, all right. So go to that one. Right, this is zero. All right. So if you, if you zoom in, you see my guy. I see him. You see my guy. <laughs> the reason why I call him guy is because, you know, so this is in Gettysburg. <laughs> um, <the real laughs> butt. And it was, you know, daytime summer. Um, and I was just taking scenery pictures with my uh, digital camera. And even as an investigator, I'm flicking through these these pictures when I got home so fast. And the person that I was with was not a believer at all. She was not into it. She's like, wait a minute, go back. What was that? And I was like, okay. So I go back and she goes, what is that? She's like, when we were taking those pictures, there's nobody on the railroad cut. She's like, there's nobody there. So I look in, I look in, I was like, wow, that really, I'm like, that does look like something. Um, but I yet doubted what I was seeing. So I, I actually took this picture to a couple of people in Gettysburg that I respect. Mark Nesbitt was one. There's also um, another museum that was there, no longer there, but um, International Museum of Spirit Investigation. So they had this picture, you know, you know, for a while, like, I guess at that time, no, this was, again, I was still 
an amateur, you know, no, so I wanted to make sure before putting this out there, you know, because I just doubted myself so much. I was like, there's no way. Um, they finally come back and said, you know, they were 99% sure that this was an apparition of a civil war soldier. Right. Um, now, now I, I always thought union, but all these other people say Confederate. Um, and I think maybe because it was a highly, uh, populated Confederate area there. Uh, but Mark Nesbitt then told me that the, the last civil war soldier that was found, like the last burial was in 1996 at that railroad cut and it was a Confederate soldier. Oh. Yeah. And that, and those are specifics that, that are really, really hard to, to pin down with absolute certainty. Uh, and, and almost, I only point that out almost because not to detract from what is clearly, in my opinion, at least, and I'm no photo expert, but a brilliant capture because I don't care if that's a Salvation Army soldier. That's not a human being. No. no. It's supposed to be there when that photo was taken. And there's one giant significance in here that, post, that, that points out to the fact that this is pure paranormal. Look at the shadows being casted by the trees. Exactly. There is no shadow being casted by no whoever. There. Very crisp, spot on. And look at the direction they're going. Right. There should be a shadow. If you look at my mouse right here, there should be a shadow directly behind this gentleman right here being casted by the sun because the sun is coming up from the east. Mm -hmm. So you caught this in the morning, correct? Yeah, it was. Yeah, we were we were driving around the park and, you know, and then. So now going back to the first one you sh you showed that International Museum of Spirit Investigation eventually asked permission if they could hang it up. Look at that. In, in oh, their, so, they wow. kind of, so they did that where they kind of like, you know, because again, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm afraid to do that because I'm afraid since I don't know how to do that, I would mess it up. So I guess when they put it on the wall, they just kind of, you know, darkened the color a little bit to make it um, a little bit yep. more. Yeah. Um, That's so, so cool. Well, yeah. that even more signifies that there's absolutely no shadow behind this gentleman standing here at nope. all. Nope. I would agree. But you can no. see the shadows up here being casted from the sun by the trees, the leaves hanging over and the branches hanging over. You can see the shadows down here on the ground. There's nothing here. That's crazy. Yeah. That, that's it looks like far. it looks like his arm also, his left arm, and yeah. it's in his pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I that's would say so too. Pretty, yep. Yeah. yeah. So so um, now it's hanging up in, in, um, eventually I got my, my golden award, which I always say that, but it's hanging up in Mark Nesbitt's ghost of, uh, ghost of Gettysburg store in Gettysburg. <laughs> um, so now it's hanging up there and, uh, cool. Brian, Brian Cano actually is using it on his, the history of the paranormal mobile exhibit. <laughs> well, there's, there's, Very cool. there's something era. <laughs> Something about the Civil War era here that I really want to point out. Focus. Oh, Audra's sister's joining us. Oh, yay, from Arizona. Hi, Donnie. So if you notice, if you notice how straight his arm is when you say that his hand is in his pocket. So a mm -hmm. lot of the old Civil War jackets back then would have had what's called a rifle butt pocket. Yeah. So when these guys, they, they didn't have horses. They didn't have Jeeps. They didn't have anything to ride on. So these guys would have to walk for miles upon miles upon miles through treacherous trees and, and landscaping. And they put these rifle butt pockets down at the bottom of their jackets so they could rest the butt of their heavy black powder rifle in their jacket. So all they really had to do was support the muzzle when they were walking. And it lessened the fatigue on the soldiers. Look how low his pocket is. Right. Yeah. Right. And you, you saw know, Steve Humphrey's comment a second ago about the, the legs being short. I think that's due to yeah. the length of the jacket. Yeah. yeah. The coat. Yep. Is that the end of his rifle? Or coat, rather, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd, if you look real close, that almost looks like the butt of a rifle yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, yeah. if um, that, that pocket being that low would have been like a, a rifle butt pocket where they would rest the rifle and then just carry it like this so they didn't have to support the whole weight of the rifle because those rifles were held a lot heavier than the ones we make today. Yeah, and check check out the hat uh, as well. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of like a square. Mm -hmm. The flat top. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, yeah. it looks like, and I and I might, you know, but it looks like he has a little bit longer hair in the back. Mm -hmm. You know, kind oh, yeah. of like you know, shoulder length hair as well. Um, but I, I mean, I, I it took me forever to to put this out because 
you know, in my heart, I felt like I know there was nothing down there. You know what I mean? I know the mm -hmm. land of Gettysburg so well. I could walk it with my eyes closed and I know better than the town I grew up in. You know what I mean? And I will, I have trekked through the woods, trails, non-trails. I've, I've stumbled across, you know, wells and foundations that are back in the woods and stuff like this and that. So I, I know that if I, if I saw something or someone, you know what I mean? Like I know, but there was nobody there when I took the photo and I, I, I in my heart, I know that I had captured something, um, but I needed to get as much um, quote unquote professional, if you will. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know people that have, that are, you know, like get, first of all, Mark Nesbitt uh, is a former park ranger and, and tour guide historian for Gettysburg. And, but also now an author for paranormal. So this is the, this is the, what it looked like when I, you know, when I took, I just cropped it, you know, to make it bigger, but that's the color uh, or, you know, like that's like a, an unenhanced picture other than being just cropped right. to make him a little bit bigger. That's all. And then there's a, pretty awesome. There's this one too. So you get a far away view. Yeah. You see them. You can, I mean like, Oh yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. that's crazy. That is insane. That is fantastic. Plus Chris said, but pockets. <laughs> 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 Which I thought was fun. And that's that's always fun to see my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. It's amazing when you zoom out to the long version of the photo. And, yeah. and you could eat. And again, Chris said this before, and it bears repeating. You could just glance right past that and go, nah, yeah. nothing. Yeah. I did. Easily. I don't know how she saw it. She was yeah, let's, let's look at that again. I mean, imagine you you imagine you're looking at God damn it. Imagine you're looking at something like this big. And you're just looking at that photo from that far away. Yeah, yeah you would never see it. You would see it. Mm -hmm. He said, "Go good back on her part." <laughs> yeah, good analysis. Wow. All right, that's awesome. Gettysburg for anybody who's not been there before no, is wait. I can't <laughs> wait. It is a really, it is a good location if you do the stuff that we do. Absolutely. All right, mm -hmm. what's this one? So this is Gettysburg again. Sorry. Um, another, I have a full spectrum camera and, um, I like, red take, spectrum, I like to take photos with that on like during the day. I like to use that for photographs, not for investigating, but it takes such beautiful pictures. <laughs> I mean, the pictures, the colors and everything like that, like, I love it. So mm -hmm. not only do I use my digital camera when I'm taking pictures in Gettysburg, but I also use my full spectrum when it's like real nice and, this day was a cloudy day and the way the clouds were and everything, it made the photos of the sky and everything come out so beautiful. So as we're going around now, I, this was the first time I had seen this monument and I thought it was interesting. It reminded me of a place I went to in Pennsylvania. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it, Column Sill it's called. Mm -hmm. And at Column Sill, you just walk through and there's all these rock formations that people have made. Like some of them are as big as like bigger than the, uh, um, Stonehenge rocks, like, and everything. So it's really cool. So anyways, it reminded me of that. So I started taking pictures and this is on there, this mist. And if you, there was no sunlight, you know what I mean? So it wasn't glare from the sunshine or anything. Now leg in the back, mm -hmm. left leg moving forward. If you look and see it kind of, it goes up a little higher but dissipates as it gets higher like if you see on the tree still and then but what's interesting is there was a colonel that was from connecticut that i found this out afterwards by the way a colonel that was mortally wounded there which is why the the marker is there with his name on it because he that was where he was shot and killed well, and to go back to environmental conditions, too, where people can say, well, you're looking at a fall or a winter day in Gettysburg. The ground's moist. The sun's heating up, causing a fog. In well, one little area. In six inches? <laughs> come on. Well, not only that, you can see that there's not enough sunlight that would create the the fog from heating up the ground and, and you know, evaporating the dew on the ground. There's there's nothing there. And there would be in more, more conditions. 
And if you look really close in this section of the picture, there's another mist right up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which wouldn't have been that high if this was an environmental, environmentally caused condition from any kind of, you know, cold against heat or sun against moist conditions. This is this is this eliminates it because if that was a fog caused by evaporation caused by the sun heating up the ground because it's moist, it would have been a consistent pattern all across the dirt right there. It would have been yeah, less. The leaves would have contained the moisture, so it would have been just in the dirt related areas. But none of the other dirt exposed areas are, are releasing this fog. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's very interesting to me. Um, and then to find out later that somebody was, you know, kill, shot and killed there, you know what I mean? Um, you know, kind of. Yeah, and Audrey points out, you look really close, it almost looks like he's walking. You can see a curvature of a leg almost taking a step. You can see the right leg in the right back right and the left leg towards the front curvature yeah, you can like see he's walking. Like a little bit of a boot and a pant yeah. leg right here. Yeah. yeah. Looks so like it's manifesting, like, trying to trying yeah. to manifest, right? Yeah. Yeah, or something. It's yeah. fascinating, too, because because of the, the full spectrum camera. Uh, electricity... <laughs> And magnetism, they don't they don't have visual properties. So until they hit either the, the retina of the eye or in this case uh, by defecto the you know the lens of the camera for something to to receive it, um, that could very well that would just go completely undetected. You know what I mean? So that's it's got to be in some way measurable at a certain level. And, I, and I'm curious whether or not that was purely caught because it's full spectrum. Mm. Yeah, for that reason. I mean, honestly, I I I believe that. I don't think if I had my regular digital camera, I don't think I would have picked that up. That's yeah, really cool. First of all, I didn't see it. Right. You know? Um, and uh, I didn't even see it because it's one of the cameras you can look through to take the picture. I didn't even see it when I was taking the picture. You know what I mean? And it just. And I didn't use the flash, by the way. You know, yeah, I was just, just, just going to say this is daytime, yeah. so you're not getting lens yeah. flash or anything like that. That's not yeah. that's not a lens flare because you don't have any sun that's going to intrude on that. Yeah. Right. So I mean, it's definitely interesting. Again, this one also was in Brian Cano's that that mobile exhibit. He uses that as an example as well. But um, the great example of the observer effect because I can open flame in, in that area there for the same reason that it wouldn't have visual properties right so when that when that energy wave hits the the retina and then the, the cones process and then that's the visual that you get when you're looking at like an open flame in, in an open area like that so that that had to have registered on on some level energetically with the lens and the camera that was capturing it yeah hey real quick ron for for everybody watching right now here, here in about four minutes um, KGRA is going to switch over to their normal programming, but we are going to continue because we've got more evidence for of Terrans that we want to show, and we're going to get through as much of it as possible, if not all of it. So, if you want to continue watching, continue watching us on the Facebook Live feed, or you can go over to the YouTube feed and watch over on there. But the KGRA feed will kick over to their normal broadcasting and go to the next show. But if you want to keep joining us, YouTube and Facebook, keep watching. Thank you. Oh, and I just want to say really quick to Steve, Humphreys, he had made a comment about no disrespect to me, like when he was questioning. Believe me, I, I take constructive criticism, especially when it comes to stuff like this. I, I hear every, what everybody has to say. It's part of learning. It's part of education. It's part of, you know, the process of who wants. I, I definitely don't want my credibility ruined. You know what I mean? So uh, I would never, you know want to portray something so if somebody was ever to be able to be like you know of course we're all gonna have our opinions about what we see because right. it's always up, up up for interpretation but yeah, absolutely absolutely you know and, and you're completely entitled to what you know for the years you've been doing this an ed educated assessment of what you're looking at and you know what at any given time we can all be certain of something and end up being wrong absolutely. at mm -hmm. some point down the line so at the moment you're doing there's absolutely no need for you know for any apologetic approach to it um mm. that's that's really an interesting catch i i almost feel like it's it's either at the tail end of a manifestation or at the at the onset of it maybe like right. there, i feel like there could have been more before or after this i mean yeah. it's all that's speculation like i don't know but right 
And I don't know either. You know, I just, I, I like, again, I was, I took a picture of the monument because I said, wow, I never saw this monument before, you know, and I took a picture of it because I thought it was pretty cool. You know, well, um, maybe you just caught a portion of what people think of as a spectral trail. Maybe it's just the movement that you caught of, right. of, of the spirit that was moving through. And maybe he wasn't trying to manifest. He just happened to be the right conditions at the right moment. But to piggyback on what you guys were also saying, too, is everybody that watches the show, I mean, we give our opinions, we go through what we know, but there, there's still lots of stuff that we don't know that somebody right. else might get. If we can yeah. educate and, and, and learn more stuff, I mean, it's like Taryn said, the last thing we want to do is ruin our credibility. If there's something that we're not seeing that is actually not paranormal, we'd love for the viewers to point it out because then mm -hmm. we don't look stupid when we try and say it's paranormal, right? Right. Yeah, I also feel like, you know, if you take into account a learning curve, you can't your credibility can't be vulnerable to to taking an educated guess that you may or may not be correct about. I mean, right. I think I think at the moment right now, like just Taryn's assessment of it, I would say it's spot on. I agree with it. Uh, right. Could we all be wrong later on? Yeah. But right now, I don't think there's, there's, there's zero uh, risk to credibility looking at that that's that's an interesting catch i mean if, i think no, what Chris said makes the most sense i think spectral trail is a good possibility too yeah yeah all right let's look at is awesome. the video no that's a no picture. it's a picture oh i didn't crop it sorry okay so oh, uh now okay so this is the place column so I, I forgot that i included this um so not sure what this is however and I know nobody knows me from Adam except for Lourdes and Ron. <laughs> so it's kind of like, you got to take my word for it. Um, I was walking and I heard a whisper to the side of me and instinct took a picture. And there's this. Wow. Again, no, no sun. Not, not uh, to take away from the evidence, but I think you caught a freaking bear in the background too. <laughs> Or is there a log? <laughs> there? Looks like he's waving. <laughs> he's, so funny. he's waving. <laughs> That's no, a big but, one too. Yeah, yeah. Did, the bear or the orb. <laughs> the orb. <laughs> <laughs> but to go back to go back to the anomaly in the picture, there is nothing in this photo that would have reflected light. Yeah, nothing I don't know what then. That is why. Again, daylight, so I wasn't using my flash. You know, I was just taking pictures of the rock formations as we were. This, so this was a somebody hand built this bridge. You know, so it's off stone, and um, and in front of me was a ca like a, a built like ca a little mini castle. So I was walking up to that actually, I wasn't even paying attention to anything to the side of me yet. And like I said, I heard this like whisper, and I turn and. I don't, like I said, instinct, I just took a picture and that's what was in the picture. And are you using just your phone or what, what are no, you this using? This was a digital camera. This was back before, you know, phones were what they are. Oh, now. Okay. So yeah, this was with a digital camera. And so, where is this place again? It's called Column Sill, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Um, it is, um, it's actually very interesting. A lot of, um, oh, I don't want to use the wrong word. Let me say. Um, so a, a gentleman owns the property and um, he it's open to the public. You can just go there. But there's um, so it's in uh, Northampton County, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's a megalith park. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. I, I didn't want to mess the word up. <laughs> so it's. it's, it's that was Anthony Anthony Ritter, who's who is a brilliant ITC guy. I've looked at his website. I've talked to him. See, welcoming criticism. So that that says everything about what the field should be right there. When when someone right. as brilliant as this guy oh, is sure. saying we welcome criticism to improve our methods and gain wisdom, that's exactly how it is. And that's a, he's an extremely brilliant guy who just said that. Um, not to be dismissed, I think, which is really cool, because it's part of the experience, right? You heard something and then took the picture. Yeah. So it's very easy for the people who are cynical to be like dismissive of the, oh, I heard something and then took the picture. But that's part of the experience. That might be why you took the picture, in fact, right? Right. Yeah. And then, so those, those are two things that correlate, that you had an, an audible experience and then you captured something visual. So those things are connected. And, and you know, obviously the, the audible part is 
you don't have it recorded, it's it's like you said, people have to take your word and your credibility for it. But yeah, I don't um, I don't think you start with zero credit. You know, this MasterCard doesn't do that. The paranormal shouldn't do it either. You, know, you, right, right. you have a line of credit that you can ruin or not based on what you do. And your I think your reputation as we know it is is stellar. So yeah. thank right. you. I appreciate that. And, and then the other thing you have to do too is when you're looking at something before you just discredit it, is you, you look at everything around there, what could cause this. I mean, environmentally, you're looking at this. This is either a heavily, super heavily wooded area that blocks sunlight. Or this was done towards the end of the afternoon or the you know the beginning of the morning before noon because the sun wasn't directly up you can see the shadow being cast over here by the tree you don't see any other shadows being casted here so you start eliminating things and analyzing the picture right. like a lot of us do before we go hey this might be paranormal yeah, and then when you see this bright shiny light out here in the middle that's floating in the air between trees with nothing in the background that would have reflected light there's nothing right. back here metallic it's moving this way because it has a tree. Yeah, and, it, and you're yeah. not using flash on this picture, right? right? Right, correct. Yeah, no, I wasn't. Um, again, and I wasn't even like, like I said, I heard, I heard the whisper, and now, like I said, jump ahead. Um, the more I got into this, the more I get into this, you know, I, I'm becoming more and more clairaudient. I'm beginning to hear so, like, as I'm getting, you know, into my, you know, into this whole stuff. Like, I came here just because I was interested. In the yeah. park itself, so just like to see the the, the stuff, and then so it, it technically wasn't even like a paranormal thing where I was going, you know. Um, it's kind of going just because I think stuff like this is cool, <laughs> you know. So, you know, and I wound up doing that. But in my, I've been investigating since 2011, so that's it. That's all I got. That <laughs> that mist and that soldier picture. That's it. That's all the pictures. So. Well, I've learned other, other than the fact that the bear might be throwing a silver nerf football towards the camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't explain it. Yeah. And the Claire audience part was the part that I was, I was speaking to specifically right. with being dismissed because the, it, it's bad enough when you show something, to somebody visual that the, you know, they'll be skeptical sometimes purely because they weren't there or they don't right. trust or whatever. Yeah. But the Claire audience part, I mean, if you have nothing for them to hear, that really is, uh, you know, take my word for it kind of a thing. And we, yeah. we come up against that all the time. But if you're doing this long enough, um, you realize that that's, that's part of acknowledging and, and accepting and feeling and seeing what's going on. And that's, that's as much part of the process as, as a visual or visual or an audible capture is. Yeah, and, and I'm always hesitant to share this one only because of how taboo orbs are nowadays. You know, everybody's, you know, you know, we we know what they are. They're balls of energy, you know, and it, or we theorize what they are, balls of energy right. and, you know, not necessarily spirit, but, you know, it's 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 something. It's energy. Right. Energy that's just wasn't there when I was there. <laughs> but it was right. captured, you know, so right. and something bright like that, I would have if it was yeah. a flash from something, I mean, I would have seen it. Right. right. Um, well, and I'm going to be honest with the viewers and everybody on the show. I'm, you can ask Audra. I'm one of the first mm -hmm. people that when somebody goes, look, I caught an orb and I'll go all oh, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> but then when I see something like this, it's like, okay, now this is my definition of an energy orb. Yeah. Not yeah. something flying across the camera when it, the IR is turned on and you're in a room full of dirt and, or you're in a room that's the, Things are falling off the ceiling and falling off the walls and stuff like that. Yeah. Orbs got, got a bad name too, I think, too, because really, for the most, I mean, do you know anybody in the field who whose specificity is, is visual anomalies and orbs? I think there are people who are more into it than others, perhaps. But I think for the most right. part, the field generally has a tertiary level of of education or knowledge about you know the dust, the bug, you know, etc. But I mean, we don't know. I mean, it's never been ruled out. It's it's almost. Um, a fad to be like that yeah. or yeah. Right? yeah but you know we, we don't know i mean you most of the time you don't even vet your surroundings for visual things like an orb like you would for audible stuff to make sure right. that you don't capture something that would you know be a false positive so yeah yeah it's definitely interesting yeah. i mean i mean it blocks out the tree it does, a yep. little bit, it does. Yeah. you know so um, i definitely you know in, 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 like i said in my opinion i believe that that is that is what we would classify, I guess, as an orb, you know, some type of anomaly that wasn't there. Um, but that, that's fair. I would agree with that. Yeah, I would agree it's, with that. it's like what you guys said, there's nothing reflecting, there's no shadow, there's no, no 
there's nothing. It's just that ball of light. Self illuminating. And there's only yeah. one there, just right. one. Right. And if you look really close, the area behind where the 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 orb or light anomaly appears is completely shaded. So there's there's really nothing there that should have caused it. Right. Especially that bright in, with a with a motion tail behind it where it's moving. It's that's yeah. Phenomenal. I mean, and you can see the kind of the pattern because the tail behind it, you can see the the tree behind the shadow part. Mm -hmm. That. I love that we have we have such an astute, yeah. astute audience of people who watch the show. The last two comments were excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was saying that. Both, both of them. Uh, Anthony Ritter's thing, and then uh, hey, Tony, Ra why does that yeah, name? Yeah. Sound <laughs> why do I know that guy? I yeah, know. I it sounds familiar. That looks like the handsome devil behind Chris. <laughs> <laughs> right, Still Tony, and Tony's right. That's it's got a negative stigma to it, and then and that's that. that's why. Right, because right. everybody catches these things and goes, "Look, it's a ghost. It's Grandma Ethel." No, no, it's not. It's <laughs> right. And you know the, the fact that Andre pointed out that it has that energy trail behind it. If you look behind that energy trail, if this was a reflection of something, you can see the tree. And the last time I checked, trees don't reflect light. <laughs> mm. Christmas trees, maybe, but this <laughs> oh, yeah. is not a Christmas oh. tree. Touche. I'm telling you, that's a paranormal bear, and that's his energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, Apparently, only you can identify orbs. <laughs> only you can identify orbs. <laughs> and now, let's go back to some EVPs. It's over here I came from. All right. So, um, same place I got Beth. Um, again, me and my sister and her boyfriend uh, were walking through Atzion Cemetery. And our flashlights went out. Now, mind you, I was ignorant to any. I had no idea what. I just thought. Thought it was weird that all of our flashlights went out, but then I got scared because then because you gotta remember something, it's the pine barrens. So I, I'm I'm not afraid of ghosts at this point, even though I'm walking through a cemetery or anything like that. <laughs> I'm afraid of the I people do. that are lurking, you know. Right. Yes. Yeah. And I say this lovingly because I feel like they're proud of it, but like the pineys and stuff like that, the people that like own those woods, and you're like, huh? Oh, I'm sorry for the yeah. little mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. It's a, little dark. it's a dark area in New Jersey that may or may not be populated with people who may or may not be living with a pulse. Right, right. <laughs> right. Um, we we'll have to play the banjo. But uh, definitely, <laughs> it's definitely amazing. I I, I love Atzion Cemetery. Um, so anyway, our flashlights go off, and it got dark, and I and I started to get discombobulated. So I said, I asked my now my sister was a little like maybe a couple feet ahead of me. Um, and her boyfriend was even further ahead of us. Um, I said, where's the car at? She didn't answer me the first time. So I asked her again, where's the car at? That's when you hear. Well, no, the, after the first time you hear it's over here, that's where I came from. But I didn't, nobody heard, nobody answered me. So I said, where's the car at? And then you hear my sister say it's over there. And then if you listen closely, um, you hear this. And I said, something just buzzed in my ear. And I apologize for any sensitive ears. But my sister said, dude, that sounded like somebody fucking coughing. Which when you listen back on the recorder, that's what it you hear this light. Where I, in real life, I heard a buzz in my ear. Hmm. Huh. She well, actually was... heard this like coughing noise. And then. Hmm. The, needless to say, the investigation ended quickly after that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for us to go. <laughs> the car went from over there to the car's right here. All right, let's, <laughs> right. uh, let's listen. Yeah, where's the car? Wow. Where's the car? Something just buzzed in my ear. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah. Was good. What? Let's, let's play it one more time. Listen to that really close. That almost sounds like laughter. Yeah. Yeah, where's the car? Where's the car? Something just buzzed in my ear. 
<laughs> yeah. That did yeah. sound like somebody fucking coughing. Somebody <laughs> <laughs> fucking coughing. So, yeah. That did it almost sound like somebody going. Yeah. Like yeah. That. Yeah. But to yeah. me, like at the time, it it was like this loud buzz. And I'm like, something, and I'm happy I said that. I don't even know why, but it was just this. Zzz, I was like, something just buzzed in my ear. And she said, no, that sounds like something. So, first of all, if you, if you, and, and I've, I analyze this so much, right? So I, I said to myself, if I, if somebody asked me, where's the car at? Well, how would I answer that? Would I, was there ever a possibility where I would say, it's over, it's over here? That's where I came from. No, you would just be, it, it's over there, you know. I, I, actually, I don't know if it says here or there, but either way, it's over here. That's where I came from. You wouldn't say it. You just feel like it's over there. How, how my sister answered was a very natural answer to that. Right, question. right. right. Um, yeah. So the response yeah. was kind of weird to me. I mean, none of us would say that. It's where I came from. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, okay, I want to make sure anything, me. we would say we. Right. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Where we came from, but it's if she was being sarcastic, she would be like, "It's over there where we came from." But right, she, it right. says where I came from. Yep, yeah. I, would, I would agree with that. Context-wise, that makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. So it, maybe yeah. maybe it had that buzz to your ear and different from hers. It could have been proximity to you because it's it's a it's a vibrational disturbance, right? Sound is a vibrational disturbance in, in the air, and it, when it hits the eardrum is when you get sound. Right. As a process. So not when it emits from where it's coming from, it's not a sound until it hits contact. So that might be why it hit you differently than it hit her. Right. Yeah. And, and I, I believe I've always believed that, you know, uh, we all have different antennas, you know, mm -hmm. and I feel like, you know, some of us pick up, which is why sometimes you could be in somewhere and Lourdes, you might hear something and, and none of us hear it. Ron, you might see something and only two people see it. You know, I feel like, you know, you're going to pick up, I feel like the energies have to clash at this. You got to be, it's almost like you're at the right moment in time to have, to get something, you know what I mean? Um, so, I mean, that's what I, that's what I think. That's why I think maybe we heard it differently. You know, she mm -hmm. really heard it. <laughs> she heard whatever that was, like right. how it sounded on the recorder, you know? So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to jump to the next one. We still have five, and I want to make sure I get them all in. Okay. Yeah. Rockwell Psy. What is it? Rockwell Psy. Okay, so this this was, uh, again, this was Penhurst. And um, um, I had taken another group down, and they were the ones that were that pulled the all-nighter. You know, those where we have a, a investigation from, you know, 9 p.m. to 7 a.m., and you think everybody usually leaves around 1 or 1, in between 1 to 3, you know? Oh, no, no. No, no, no. We had people that were like, I'm getting my money's worth. <laughs> that would be us. <laughs> now, Penhurst, I would totally do it. I There's no way. I, I, I want to sleep over there. I love it there, right? <laughs> so, um, so anyways, I had a group. It was a smaller group at this point since it was probably like 4.30 in the morning. And um, so it, it, in part of Rockwell, they have these little, if you've never been there, they have these little uh, cement seats on both sides of, of the walls where you can just kind of sit on enough room that if you have a big booty, you're falling off. You know what I mean? So you gotta, you gotta be careful where you put your stuff and everything. However, so, so where it was like four of us on this side and maybe six of them on this side. And we were doing an EVP session and in the middle of us, all you hear is this, this sigh. And it was so loud Right away, I'm like, did you sigh? Did you, did, who did it? People, and, but what's interesting <laughs> is you could tell the reactions from the people, you know, they're like, that wasn't you. Like it came from, a, and we all heard it come from a different direction. Ah, okay. Here we go. They're probably like a quarter mile away from us, and it just it's that intense. Is that you, Zion? Can you hear it? I couldn't hear it. I did not okay. hear it. Did anybody say I heard that? I heard it over by you, Connie. By me? Yeah, I heard yeah. it over there. By you. No, I heard it. That wasn't any of that. Okay, that no, was you. Yeah, no, it wasn't me. Did you hear it? It seriously wasn't you. <laughs> All right, let's play that again. It's right as the first two guys stopped talking. Yep. Yep. They're probably like a quarter mile away from us, and it was that intense. 
that you sign? Oh my gosh, it's so much louder. I do not know. You didn't? Uh uh. Let me see if I can. I heard that. I heard it over by you, Connie. By me? Yeah, I heard yeah. it over there. By you. Oh, yeah, I heard it that way. It's funny that nobody could tell where it came from. But that's probably because it's so echoey in there. So that's that's yeah. why it would be yeah. confusing where. But it's a long sigh. But, but you what's guys amazing, hear it? If you on my it, end, I couldn't really hear it. I don't oh, know. Yeah, we heard it really good. Um, what's amazing about that sigh is if you pay really close attention, there's no echo to it. That's true, too. Right. Let me, it's let me true. That really it I'll stop it right after the sigh. Like a He's right. There's no echo to that sigh. Everybody else is echoing. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny about that? To me, like when I listen to this, the impression I get is that this, or when I heard it at the time, because the two that were talking were talking about. I'm probably gonna get. I'm not. I don't mean any disrespect to anybody, but they were like, like they knew what they were talking about, and we're talking about you know the spirits and this and that. And to me, it was just like. My God, you know, like yeah. they have no idea what they're talking about. You know? like, I'm right here and you don't even know it. Right. <laughs> and, yeah. and, but it was to me, it sounded like it was right in the center of all of us. Yeah. And right. uh, it was loud. Rockwell unknown sentence. Yes. Uh, okay. So again, Rockwell tunnel. Um, there are uh, some. Uh, what I think it says, but I'm not going to say it. I want to see what, what you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and play it. What do you guys think? Something in the tunnel. Can you hear? I don't know why. Well, play it again. I, I may it. Hard, right? Yeah. I'm going to play it again. Leave the tunnel soon. Leave the tunnel soon. Leave the tunnel. Yes. Did you hear? Play it again. I thought I said they're in the tunnel, but I'm not sure. Can you play it again, please? I'm gonna play. I'll play from my phone too. I hear leave the tunnel soon too. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm so not sure. let me see if it, if let let me tell me if you guys can hear it. Did you hear it any better? Leave the tunnel. Yeah. 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 And after they leave the tunnel, there's more sentence. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Where's the speaker? I hear Sheree's right. Sheree's right. Yeah, I hear they're in the tunnel and then something after. I don't hear. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. So, yeah. And we're all just. Hold on. Yeah, leave the tunnel soon. Leave the, leave, leave the tunnel because you're something, something. Yeah. I, I heard a little bit of what she heard now. Like maybe they're in the tunnel and something, something noises. Yeah. I leave this. So, somebody else said, leave. That's the crazy. Tunnel, yeah. tunnel is clear. Tunnel is yeah, clear. Tunnel yeah. Is clear. Yeah. yeah. Leave the tunnel is clear. Yeah. I, I mean, it is. It's, it's. I just love Rock Rockwell Tunnel is by far. I mean, a lot of people go to to go. They go to Penhurst. They love the Mayflower, um, but mine's always been Rockwell. To leave the tunnel soon. Yeah, yeah that's maybe if they leave. The, I don't know. Okay, the next I one. Would, the next one. Would, my favorite. Just screw it. <laughs> All right. So this, this might be a little hard to hear. Now, this was the first time that I I shared this because this was the first time that I actually heard something with my bare ear. And got it on with the recorder. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Leave the towel soon. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tunnel on a spa. <laughs> um, what the hell, Tony? Yeah. Leave the tunnel. At the gate. At the gate, yeah. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I would voice print that one just to see if you could figure out more. Right. That, that's really good. Well, that's a class A that's not enhanced, right? I almost wonder if you. Oh, I don't know how to do that. None of my EVPs that, that are mine are enhanced because I. Oh, really? The only thing I know how to do is to crop it to just get that part of it. 
You know what I mean? And save yeah. that part. I have the whole, I still have the whole recording, but I, I now have it too. I can enhance this thing and see. Yeah, if we so can go it. ahead. I don't know how to do it. Honestly, I don't. I would say, in all honesty, I would say that's a very high end class B because there's some interpretation bouncing around. Yeah, there but you go. With enhancement, that could be class A because I mean, the most relevant, pertinent part was tunnel. And right. that part is, and nobody's debating that. So that's, that's, yeah. Except Anthony. Yeah, yeah he, just, he heard he heard towel. <laughs> All right, screw it. All right, so we're at I, one night. I was taking my enthusiastic friends. Where at the time where I thought I was like this big, you know, I thought I was knew what I was again knew what I was doing as an investigator. <laughs> so it was me and and my boyfriend at the time, my best friend at the time, and and her daughter, and we're at my. Now we're at my office. Now my office is located in, uh, or was in, in Marlton, New Jersey, near. Um, again, um, it was all a lot of Indian reservations and Indian stuff around there. Um, um, so some older parts. There's a uh, one a Savage Field nearby um, that they found artifacts from an unknown civilization from like 1300 BC. Oh, you know, wow. so yeah, all kinds of cool fun stuff around there, you know, and I getting into doing paranormal stuff, I started seeing stuff and hearing stuff, you know, and I think I, I just wanted to see for myself if I was crazy. Right. So we're doing this investigation. It's like 1230 at night uh, in the morning and we're over and over again. I'm like, all right, give us a sign of your presence, you know, like do something, knock on something, like do something and over and over again. We're asking. And I didn't hear the, it sounds turn around. Hey, that's like a whisper. So it's kind of hard to hear, but it's in the beginning. Um, and then you hear this gurgly sound say, screw it. And I heard that. And I hmm. said, to, and I said to them, I go, does somebody just say screw it? And then I said it the way I heard it. And it sounds exactly the way it sounded. That's so cool. to me, it's the first time I ever had any validation, you know, that I heard something that nobody else heard that, and it, I got it on my recorder. <laughs> All right, let's yeah. listen. Here we go. That's funny. Let's play that again. Everybody, turn your speakers way up. It's it's. Yeah, I, I have it too. I can probably I can play from my phone if it's hard. Yeah, maybe you should, but I mean, let Chris play it again still. But I, I mean, I it was low. I heard it, and I still heard it. Yeah, yeah, I still yeah. heard it. Yeah. <laughs> screw it it's like screw yeah it. yeah it's there not paying yeah. Attention. Yeah, yeah it's there and i go on and i go I, they were like making jokes i was like i'm fucking i heard something i was like i'm serious they <laughs> we're like oh maybe it was this but i'm like no 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 it was screw it and i said it the way it said it because it came yeah. across very yeah. burgly yeah okay that was for you okay uh, this was at that place where that night I told you I got 43, uh, you know, EVPs or whatever. So still at this place, one of the REM pod goes off. And afterwards you hear a whisper say that was for you. Oh, All right. oh that's cool. Um, yeah. That's huh. Wow. It's a male wow. voice. Let me yeah. play that again. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That, really that, cool. that is really cool. Here's I a parting gift. gift. <laughs> it's a parting gift. I'm not doing that shit again. That one was for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And the last one we got here is Winslow Historica. Okay. So this, this was just me sharing one of the funnier because it was a curse word. 
Awesome. Uh, Winslow Historical Society. Um, because you don't get curses that often. No. Um, and it was the F word. And I heard it again. I heard it with my ear. It was caught on the recorder. And every you can hear everybody go, no, I didn't say anything. Because I said, did somebody just yell, fuck? <laughs> that's, what, that's what I heard. All right. Here we go. Did somebody just say fuck? <laughs> like you, were, you were right on it, too. If you were a school teacher, I would never try to talk to my classmates in your class. No <laughs> kidding. Damn. Let's play that again so everybody can hear it. She was on that. Did somebody just say fuck? <laughs> and it's, it's with, with like expression like fuck. Yeah. It, it almost sounded like you said oh fuck. Yeah. I, I mean, I, and it was very close to me. And I was the only one in that room, but there were a couple of people in the next room over. So that's why I yeah, I quickly asked because it sounded diff it sounded weird to me. Yeah. So it didn't sound like Everybody else, I already heard them talking. You know, I already know what the sounds that were going on around me. You know, and this was just so out of, and nobody really, you know, I was like, uh, it just sounded weird. It sounded odd. It was a different yeah. voice. It was a different, it was something I didn't know. So let's play that one more time. Okay. That's the best way to end the show. Yes, please. Did somebody just oh. say fuck? <laughs> he, does. Oh, yeah. he does. He says, "Oh fuck." Uh huh. Yeah. That's hysterical. Uh -huh. Everybody keeping score tonight. That was one f bomb, one big booty, and one butt pocket. <laughs> pocket. <laughs> Followed by a bear throwing a silver Nerf ball through the air. That's what amazing. That's one hell of a show. Yeah, that yeah. was great. Yeah, your your clear audience um, that you feel that you have. Uh, you made your case for it tonight, and that's not even a fraction of all your evidence because you were really on top of a lot of those yeah. things in the moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and I and I'm so happy about that because like the more I'm doing it, like I said, over this past year, for some reason, it's gotten very, very, it's gotten more stronger. Evident that I'm hearing yeah. this and everything. Yeah, stronger. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, I, I was telling them I was in Gettysburg and. Again, I'm, I and I was with two other. There was a SRS Paranormal had come up from Tennessee, you know, and wanted me to meet them in Gettysburg and take them around Gettysburg. So, you know, to some of the hot spots, and you'd think like all the normal, like the Devil's Den and you know the wheat field and all those places are the hopping spots, but it's not. You know, I mean, I I mean, at least I know, you know, I've had a lot more experiences off the beaten paths than I have, you know, at those at those areas, but. Um, we were at Little Round Top and they were getting cigars out to kind of offer cigar to the soldiers, you know, and, and smoke. And he says, where's the box? One of them says, where's the box? And the, and I hear a box. And then the other one says, what box? So I go, did one of you guys just say box in between? You're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I heard three, the word box three times, not just twice. You listen back on the recorder and sure enough, there it is. Wow, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, and they were there. They were like, holy shit, we did not hear that. And I, we didn't say that. You heard that? Oh, my God, I heard that. <laughs> so. it's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, you that's had great, great evidence. Great thank evidence. you for sharing. Yeah, no, yeah thank you for sharing. I love sharing it. I love sharing it. <laughs> like fantastic. the stuff that I, that I, I, you know, I do have things where, you know, you, you, you listen to and you're like, hmm, you know, and that's in my iffy folder and that's, you know, whatever, but. Like I said, the few that at the few that I do have, I love. Um, you know, I, I I catch a lot of whistles that I hear with my ear. Um, anywhere from I have private houses to a house in Cape May, bed and breakfast, um, and then uh, I mean, just like everywhere. I mean, uh, whistles are a thing that I capture. I don't know if you guys capture whistles a lot, but and it's like like. You know, like we're like probably, like, you, know, like, you know, like whistles like that, just kind of trying to get your attention almost. You know what I mean? So, yep, yep, very cool, awesome. Well, it's fantastic, yeah. Taryn. Thanks for coming on tonight. I want to reach out and thank our audience me. again. Everybody, yeah. pay attention to Paranormal Brew. Yes, thank you. Yes, Make tell sure them again what, what night and time, please. 
Uh, so it's, uh, it's every Wednesday, uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, right now, I'm banned from going live on Facebook. Uh, you know, because somebody had put up a picture of a dog. I didn't do anything wrong, but they put a picture of a dog. And the robot Facebook that's out there took what I said the wrong way. I said, oh, my God, your dog is so cute. I'm going to kidnap it. And because I said that, they banned me uh, from going yeah. live for 60 uh. days. So, oh, almost, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, when I had Jason Hall's on, right, I can't go live on Facebook. So it was, you know, which, you know, I've gotten a lot more subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is great. So I can go live on YouTube. Um, so I'm live on YouTube, live on uh, Paranormal King Radio Network. Uh, and then I'll share the episodes onto Paranormal Brews Facebook, BB3 TV's Facebook, and, um, Unrestricted Paranormal 2, and then PowerPost.net also will share it. Okay. Awesome. Very awesome. Cool. So, yeah. Well, I want to thank our audience for stopping again. We got Aaron, Roland, Carrie, Kathy. God, I could go on and on. It's the same Jolly, people every week. We, we had yeah. some great people jump on because of Taryn, which is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would thank everybody, for, even for their opinions about everything, too. I love, yeah. I love seeing... You know what other people hear, what they see, yeah. you know all that stuff, and 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 I thank everybody for for chiming yeah. in. Thank you for chiming in. Make sure you tune in next thank week, you guys. Channel. <laughs> and if you want to hear things like the f bombs <laughs> or butt pocket, or if you ever want to see a bear throwing a silver Nerf ball, you've got so, to stay on it. Yeah. <laughs> if you want me to come back on and share more of my stuff, I will be. Sure. I'm more than happy to do it. Awesome. Yeah. Would love that. Thank you guys. You guys Thank have you a good night. Time. Nope. Oh, she oh, she, she, she disappeared. Oh. <laughs>